so they're in purgatory between the fourth and third dimension. Do you get that? No. How do we know what purgatory means? Um, in between the realms. Okay. Transitioning in a way. So a lot of people don't know how to uh, judge because they're caught in, they're stuck in purgatory. Yeah. Mm, they are. They don't know how to judge their surroundings correctly. Because they, they, they don't. They don't know what they're really looking at. Yeah. They Just what, what they're, they're told. Really Hey, what's up, Ninja? This is C Man Vlogger. Thank you for clicking on the video. Alright, been up editing most of the night. Wife is downstairs getting ready for work. So, let's go check her out. Sure, we still got more lights and decorations to put up. We don't have an outside outlet, so I got a green light. Also, we got a little wreath. Oh, good day. right now just woke up wife was sleeping she got off work back at seven and we barely got any food so i gotta run to the store go pick up some real quick start closes at 11 so on delay homes oh yeah and i forgot to mention bam look at that bad boy bam it's going flat Lucky it came out when I did, otherwise it would have been totally flat, totally. Okay, so you're wondering why I didn't put butter in it? Cause I cooked it with butter. I Means it's all over it already. Soaked in. Move forward or change places with an appointment. Move forward, 11. I sent him back home. Bam! Sorry, not sorry. Is it my turn then? Yes, sir. Damn it. Damn it. God damn you, Brian. Are you sorry? No. <laughs> um, I wouldn't do that. Why? You're an asshole. <laughs> At least I didn't take that one. What an asshole. Just need a two, but then they yeah, both took need it a two. Yeah. I'm not sorry, guys. So I was having conversations with my son, my oldest son earlier, and it had to do with a lot of stuff. We we talked for like three and a half hours. It's crazy because, like, we're not the talkative type of people, the talkative type of people, but when we do talk about stuff that we are invested in mentally we can talk for a long time and we just like vibe on each other and we just go at it and I think that's a lot of the similarities that I found in my wife but that's besides the point so as we're talking Christmas came up in a conversation and, and it got me thinking about when I was younger like how it was told that you're Native American we don't celebrate Christmas but yet 
we still kind of celebrated Christmas and I always had a confusion about it. Then even with my oldest son, like we, we talked about it, like we didn't really go all out and, and celebrate Christmas or any of these other American holidays. And it wasn't until I married my wife was when holidays became a celebratory thing. So me and my oldest son, we delved into all these reasons why Christmas is and that's such a good thing, you know? And we talked about the origins, we talked about Krampus, we talked about the ritualistic part about it, we talked about it not even being uh, the 25th uh, or, or having to do with uh, Jesus' birth and all of that. And even the fact that it being a um, colonized type of holiday and coming from a native perspective, that's always been a, a thing that I've heard of. Like, why are you gonna celebrate those people's holiday? So after we got all that conversation out of our system, then I wanted to tell him the reason why I have adapted into celebrating Christmas and all these other holidays, which is the fact that I look at everything and consider it like it's what you put into it. So, so let me relate it to like, it's people who go to treatment and say treatment doesn't work, but once they utilize the treatment techniques and skills that they, they give to you and you actually put them to use and work the program, then it works, right? So it's basically the energy that you put into it. You may not follow it uh, verbatim or follow the ritualistic parts and ideologies of it, but you make it yours. You own it. And so that's basically just what I'm trying to say. Like Christmas is this and this and this for other people. But for me and my family, it's just about generosity and giving and and uh, family bonding time. Why not utilize this American holiday to bring people and family and loved ones together, you know? And if it involves some gift giving and some eating, like, I don't see a problem with that. You get the gist of what I'm saying, right? Let's go see what the wife says. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. <laughs> yeah. um, so what do you think of Christmas? Um, so to me, Christmas isn't a religious thing because um, I mean even if you fully you know are learned about religion and all that Jesus and all that stuff you know that he wasn't actually born on December 25th or whatever um, but to me it's not about that to me it's just about the spirit of giving and just another time to be, you know, with family and like present with family. You know what I mean? Like not just around each other, but like you guys are actually like interacting and um, being with each other. And that's just how it's always been. Growing up, it was that way. And, you know, and that's the way my mom has always done it. You know, and if you so choose... It's another excuse to eat. <laughs> That's it. So once you learned so much about your surroundings and you judged so much and you took yourself outside of the box and you know how they say the smartest people think outside the box? Yeah. So after you've done that, that's when you've tapped your mind into a fifth dimensional experience. Because your 5D body and your body is just your mind and mentality. That's so much information that they're able to become the authority of their third dimensional experience now by using fifth dimensional frequencies. 